Hey guys and welcome to my big game hunter guide for beginners. When you are ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. So as you guys may or may not know, this is the new way of training hunter called big game hunter. You can start Big Game Hunter at the land out of time by having the appropriate bait in your inventory and right clicking on a bait pad in a Big Game Hunter area. On screen now is a map of the island and the different types of bait you need for each Big Game Hunt or dinosaur. I'll leave the map in the description below because I'm pretty sure you won't be able to read this on the video. Now every dinosaur or Big Game Hunter catch has an instance. And you can catch this dinosaur five times before the cooldown of currently being one hour starts. If you fail or mess up and get caught, that will count as one catch. Or one attempt, meaning if you fail, you will only be able to catch that creature for that hour four more times. The minimum requirements for Big Game Hunter are level 75 Hunter and 55 Slayer. Now in the arena, which I'm going to be explaining to you guys in just a second, you have various things. You have a bait box, which you can build, which acts as a food storage for all the Big Game Hunter creatures around the island. You have grass where you can hide in so that you do not get caught, which is very useful if you're first starting out and you don't know how to run behind the dinosaurs. You have rubble spots, which can be built into a scorpion, the ballista type weapon costing one log and one vine. These logs can actually be obtained from trees throughout the arena or instanced arena. And you can use these to make spears, craft those ballistas and build the pressure plates in the middle. Vines can be obtained from the jungle vines, also found in the arena, used to craft ballistas again. And you can get poison by clicking on the frogs, which is used to poison the spears, which is the actual ammo for those ballistas. As you guys can see on screen, there's an arena of one of the lower level big game hunter creatures. And the principle of all the arenas are the same. The basics are you have your ballista building spots, the rubble, which are now circled in red on screen. There's always three of them at every single dinosaur. You then have your pressure plate in the middle, which you'll build last and then put the bait on to finally actually shoot the dinosaur and damage him. And you have a bunch of planks where you can build that extra bait box to hold extra food. I'll be explaining the resources and what you want to gather and how much in just a second. But for now, just look at the dinosaur. He has a kind of energy field or ring around him. Once you stand in this ring and you're not standing in grass, it will turn to yellow, then orange, then red. And if you wait too long, you will get caught and fail your first attempt. Now that you know pretty much all you need to know about the arena and how it works, let's get into a big game hunter kill or catch. Once you've started the arena by right clicking a bait pad and choosing quick start, you're now inside the arena. What I recommend you do at first is go towards the grass to hide, then scout your surroundings to see where and what supplies you have around you. If you're lucky, you'll have a grass spawn close to a tree, making your life much, much easier, as this way you can actually cut the logs, go into the grass and craft the spears. Now the general strategy is to walk behind the dinosaur to avoid him and then use the grass to your advantage to gather resources, being the vines and logs and poison spears. What you want to do is obtain three vines and 10 logs. You can gather less logs in the first round in case you want to gather them in the second round instead. If so, you'll have to gather seven logs in the first round. What I mean by round is once you've built up the ballistas and actually shot the dinosaur or big game hunt, he won't actually be dead yet. In fact, you have to do it in two rounds and this will always be the case. What you want to do is craft three spears for the first round and poison them with two colors of the frogs. This means three spears, for example, one blue spear and two red spears. Now, why not all three? Because, well, if you do two of one color and you do one of the other color instead of all three, you have a chance of the color you picked being two of the right color of the weakness of the dinosaur, meaning you're going to be doing much more damage. And once you know the actual weakness of the dinosaur, which will be staying the same for the entire hour or five attempts, 
then you can actually have a chance to kill the dinosaur in just four spears instead of the regular five if you were to use three different colors at the start in the first round and then use the two he's weak towards in the second. As you guys can see to end the first round, I finally bathed the pressure plate using a raw manta ray. A cutscene will now play which you 100% want to watch to see what arrow does the most damage. In my particular case, I had both the wrong colors, so I won't be able to finish off the dinosaur with four spears. However, I now do know that blue is the weakness of this particular dinosaur for this hour. Now for round two, gather the remaining vines and logs if you need them. Arm the remaining two ballistas, which should always be intact. I don't know for sure, but I'm pretty sure it will always be two that are still fixed and one that is broken after the first round. Arm them with the strongest color of poison, so what hit the highest or what you know is the weakness of the actual dinosaur. In my case, it was blue poison spears, and so I got myself those two spears and armed the remaining ballistas. Then bait the dinosaur once more, and then you are done, and the dinosaur will be killed, and you will get hunter and slayer experience, and once you actually skin it, you will get even more hunter experience. Now there's also a chance of having multiple dinosaurs in an instance and I don't know why this is a thing but it's not a bug and it's definitely in the game. It just makes it a bit harder especially if you have three in an instance at once. At that point I'd probably give up myself and lose an attempt and then just go back to doing one at a time because that is just so much easier. Anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this guide and found it helpful. There isn't too much information on experience rates because they may vary and I need to do more testing as the update is pretty fresh but this is definitely a pretty interesting and really fresh way of actually training Hunter. It's almost like these are skilling bosses for RuneScape 3. So if you found it helpful, leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.